Grand Rising, you beautiful people. It is Monday, day of the mother, day of the moon. Um, I did not check moon face this morning. I know it is raining. I don't know which sign it is in. I was making a transition yesterday when I looked at it. <sighs> so, don't remember, but Grand Rising, y'all. Oh, of course, y'all see me out here at the track. So, I'm a staff, so you know, <laughs> I had to bring my ancestors with me this morning. It's like, oh, well, you didn't feel good. We was good. Feeling better. That's how you we do? No, that's not how we do. My apologies. Didn't mean to make y'all feel that way. We take y'all out here. Get reestablished with nation and all that good stuff. Y'all probably tired of just being outside in the backyard. All right, that's just me and my staff, ladies and gentlemen. Me and my staff. So, let's turn me around so y'all can see. Yeah, that's from the storm. We had a storm out here. And got a little grass and shit on the track. All those good things. All right. So, we walk on the track. I want to talk to y'all today. Energy vampires. So, just vampires, period. Let's, let's talk about vampires. <sighs> vampires are thought to be the money beings, okay? The reason why they are thought to be un demonic beings is because they are not creatures of the light okay these are creatures of darkness okay meaning they live in dark places now a lot of us are conditioned to believe that things that live in dark places are bad things it's just not always true and even if it were the case. <laughs> Are there not bad things that live amongst the lights? Okay. So, these beings are not creatures of light. So we are programmed to believe that they're bad, they're evil, they're going to harm us. Creatures of darkness survive in different ways than creatures of light because they live in dark. I.e. the vampire. The vampire needs to suck blood to sustain nourishment. Okay? Now, those that want to get along with creature of the light try to find alternative ways to get their nourishment that do not offend the creatures of the light because we can be very judgmental and hurtful to these beings because of their nature, right? Now, let me put a disclaimer in here. I am by no means trying to coerce or convince you that fucking around with dark creatures is what you need to be doing. That is not what I am doing at all. What I'm doing is trying to explain to you things that may have not been said to you about creatures of the dark. Okay? Even some other type of thing. Okay? Now, these particular beings are not always bad, as I said. You, they are willing to help you, defend you, whatever you need. Not all of them hate humans, okay? And when I say hate humans, I, re I really mean 
hate humans. Like a lot of these beings, <laughs> um, people like to work with and they call and conjure up. They don't fucking like humans. Okay. People, especially, I love when people say things like, sometimes I know they're angels and angels and angels. You know, there are angels that are jealous of you. And that don't mean that they are now demonic because they're jealous of your human ass. Okay? So you conjuring up this motherfucker that may be jealous of your existence. And then you're like, somebody curse me. You cursed yourself, you damn fool. Now what you doing? Anyway, they are considered creatures of light. Even though I consider them, well, they, I don't know. I think they a little bit of both because they ain't never lived. <coughs> Theoretically speaking, <coughs> they're supposed to be dead because they are on the other realm, I guess. I guess that's how we think it. I think they ass live somewhere else and they live just like the rest of us do. But all right, that's just me though, you know. So, how do you deal with a vampire? Well, most of y'all know, oh, silver is a repellent. It will kill them driving a stake through their hearts. I'm not exactly sure why driving a stake through the heart is the way to kill a vampire. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll have to look that up. See what's going on with it. But, um, garlic. You know what I'm saying? Um, what other means? I mean, there are some herbs. <laughs> um, <clears throat> rosemary is really good to dry up a vampire's energy. Okay, pray over that thing real good. <laughs> okay, now that's just some word from Spirit. And Spirit gave me that by smell. Because, baby, I had a heavy um, vampire energy I had to wash out of my head. And, um,. <clears throat> Rosemary was one of the most potent herbs they gave me to utilize to get this shit up out of my head. <clears throat> and by the way, your hair is protection. So I tend not to fuck with mine for real, for real. For people that really want to know, it's its own living, breathing entity. Okay? So I don't typically try to fuck with it. I try to make it maintain it. So it will grow and be healthy. But I don't tend to do all that styling and shit people do to their fucking head. Because I'm worried about what somebody else thinks. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Say so head. Take her your own goddamn head. Worry about your own head. The fuck you worried about my fuck? Fuck my head got to do with you. Is you paying me? Is you paying me to utilize my head on your behalf? And that's how you need it to look in order to feel confident in your investment? Because if that ain't the case, then you need to stick it up your ass. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I just got a little irritated right there just thinking about this shit. I can't stand it. I can't stand for a motherfucker to come over here and give, give, give me their opinion about my person. Who the fuck are you? The fuck? <laughs> Why do I care? Why are you here? Is your life miserable? I mean, you can do that. Thanks for the energy. I'll take it, raggedy bitch. <laughs> raggedy nigga. What? What are you doing? Hmm. What are you doing? <sighs> anyway. So, dealing with vampires. When they are walking upon the surface, okay. 
Yes, they walk upon the surface. <clears throat> and not all of them necessarily... Okay, so not just the vampire. The vampires and their... I forget what you call them. But when they choose somebody that they want to turn or utilize, like this person is not fully vampire Rick hasn't become a vampire yet. This person is under vampire psychic manipulation. Okay. And so the vampire can telepathically um, speak to that person. That person don't know. Some of them do. Some of them do know that they've gotten this connection with this vampire. Some of them do not. Okay. Some of them don't. <sighs> so, um, bro, that just reminded me of Midnight Six. It's like, I just hate that they canceled this shit. <laughs> like, if you really wanted to understand darkness, if you really wanted to understand darkness, that was a good show to watch. A really good show to watch. And they took it out after the second season. And I'm, I have questions. Shit. <laughs> it sounds like it's on early in the morning. Oh, I need to go over there to the tennis court. Just walk around the tennis court. There's too many people on this damn track. You know my nerves. Anyway. So, dealing with vampires. And they walk on the earth. They like to do shit. They, 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 they're trying to extract from you. This is, this is the part where we get into the nitty gritty. Okay, they need to extract something. Who don't need to extract something? Okay, vampires are looking for this because they like to extract blood from people. And all the time they've been depleted to save for blood without asking them for it. <clears throat> they are accused of turning people in to vampires and shit. Which, you know, they can do this. Part of their ability. But, uh, most of them don't want your ass. I don't want you over there. It's too much to teach your motherfucking ass the ways of the vampire and shit. They don't want to do that. <sighs> anyway. So, vampires need to extract. And they're going to extract from you in several different ways. Now, unless you really, really deep into some other shit, you don't fuck with some magic or some shit like that, you ain't necessarily got to worry about no vampire fucking um, sucking your blood. Okay? Not what you have to worry about. It's going to be more practical, more realistic. You got somebody that comes to visit you, and every time they come to your house, you instantly tired, they sucking your energy. Know that. Know that they know that they're doing that shit too. Understand that they know that they are doing it. That was their sole purpose. That you soul S O L E purpose for coming to visit you was to extract your energy. Okay? Now, you got to know that on some level, if you are dealing with people, there is an energy extraction that occurs. Okay? There is some, it's usually a reciprocal exchange, all right? If you find yourself continuously in a situation with a particular person and it's never reciprocal, chances are you are being vamped on. And that's why you feel the way that you feel. As far as turning folks into vampires, there are some people that never realize they have a vampiric energy on them. And they keep attracting these vampires. And baby, <laughs> I'm talking about myself as well. Okay? Um, they attract these vampires. And they can't figure out, well, you always giving some shit. Boundaries. Establish them. Learn when you are being vamped on. Understand that not everybody comes to you with the purest intentions. And when I say purest intentions, I mean wanting to reciprocate what they are taking 
or making a a deal or a pact with you for payment at a future time if they need to just borrow something from you okay just at least attempting to practice my art but when they are not practicing my art that's gonna leave you at a deficit and they're gonna skip off into the sunset like everything is okay understand when you were being vamped on okay now you can directly call the motherfucker out I'm gonna tell you this nine times out of ten that's not gonna go well vampires do not like to be exposed as true to the TV depictions of they don't like to be exposed to the light what is the truth the light they do not like light exposure so to say you're fucking vamping off me bitch and i know it it's only going to create chaos and confusion especially if the vampire is 50 degrees <laughs> 15 or more degrees of darkness. Okay. I say 15 degrees or more because in the zodiac we got 30 degrees per side. Okay. So that's what that means with the 15. 15 up to 30. We looking at darkness. Possible evil. Okay. At that point. So. Yup. Yo darkness. I mean, these damn vampires. Okay. Understand when they coming to vamp off you. Because that's what they doing. Vamping off you. They're trying to take and not give in return. Because it enriches and enhances them. And you gotta learn when you gotta cut that off. How you cut that off? You can walk around with garlic hanging off your ass. You can put all the silver on that you want. Okay. That's not going to change the inner aspects of why the vampire told you. Now, some of these motherfuckers just choose you based on what you got. You got what they want and they trying to get. They don't give a fuck what you got going on. And these type of personalities, we tend to you know, consider a bit heavy on the narcissism side. Not all are like that, but some essentially don't give a fuck. They want what they want. We tend to call them people very ambitious as well. So, you know, same thing. Just because it's a creature of darkness or a creature of fate doesn't mean it doesn't take some of the same experiences we do. <clears throat> but these energies and entities don't don't get it twisted they walk amongst us okay <laughs> a lot of these things walk among us and we simply are not aware <laughs> because our human perception can't perceive these other dimensions and and rams and shit. We can't see it. Not with our human eye. Oh, but they do. They walk some us. So we interact with them. They look human and all of that shit. Okay? Pay attention, though. Some of the things in the movies is not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers do have fame. <laughs> they have fame. And they will take your shit. Okay. Um. You know you never see the things until they getting ready to attack your ass. All right. These are what they do, but you got to be more perceptive and more and smarter than them. Okay. Some of you are vampires, and that's okay. It is okay. They don't make you bad. 
It doesn't make you evil. Just because you was born a certain damn way. It's called racism. Yes, it happens in the spiritual community as well. Because we got a whole classification of demonic entities. And that might not even be true. <clears throat> Anywho, the vampires that are being manipulative and nasty, you got to learn to establish the boundaries to cut their ass off, okay? That's how you deal with that shit. When you realize your energy is being stuck, that means being in tune with your auric, your chi, and your energetic fields, okay? You got to feel the energy. I keep telling y'all, go outside and ground. I'm telling y'all that because when it comes to knowing yourself, it's not just your internal organs you need to be in tune with. You need to be in tune with the vibration that is around you. That area of personal protection, you need to be in tune with that. Because as soon as a motherfucker touch it, <clears throat> you'll know what the fuck is going on. Instead of somebody tapping into you and, and ciphering your shit and you don't have no idea and then you can't move you just want to sleep you don't know why you don't know what the hell is going on that's not good get in tune with that auric field I'm telling y'all everything I tell y'all to do everything I mention has a practical implication and a spiritual reasoning behind it. Take your ass outside and ground. Once you start getting in touch with the earth and the nature, you'll be able to feel these things. <laughs> you will see this shit manifest in your life. Like, I get a question all the time when I tell people to do shit. Oh, but how would I know? Motherfucker, you will know when you know. Because I cannot tell you how certain things are going to manifest for you. I can't tell you that. I can tell you you need to do this work right here. And when you do this work right here, you will see the manifestation come before you. You will see the um, changes that happen in your life. Okay? That's what you will see. So y'all just gotta do what you do. And when you are dealing with these vampire energies, you don't let these motherfuckers do whatever the hell they want to do. You figure out that they trying to tap into you and you turn that energy off. Once you turn that energy off, they gonna leave you the fuck alone. They can't get what they want. Unless they really, 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 really think they can get it away from you. Then at that point, you are in spiritual warfare. And that's a whole nother different conversation. And if you in spiritual warfare with a goddamn vampire, and you wanna know how to get that shit out for you, book a consultation. <clears throat> Cause spiritual warfare is a whole nother different situation. And sometimes it's, it's, it's a lot spiritual warfare is a lot you want to not be in spiritual warfare if you don't have to be which is why it look like a gnome right here y'all but it's a cone <laughs> it didn't look like a gnome I was like yo did a gnome come see me this morning it probably did it probably did and I just logic this motherfucker away <laughs> anyway um, what was I saying? Vampire energy. Oh, spiritual warfare. Yeah. If you engage in the spiritual warfare with a vampire, let me tell you something. That's some draining fucking shit. Okay? And the best thing to do is to hit that motherfucker really hard one good time 
because if you got one of those particularly narcissistic as vampire, it's not gonna fucking stop. So it'll be best for you to just go ahead and take the wooden staff and pierce his heart. Fuck piercing it. Stab that motherfucker. Clean through. Okay? I am. Metaphorically speaking, okay? I'm not sure if that's right. I'm, I'm trying to remember the word for image. But, and if you, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you ain't had no experience over here in that particular arena. Therefore, don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, y'all have a good consultation for that shit. That shit is draining as fuck. If you don't really understand how to engage in warfare with that particular type of entity, yo, that shit wear you out. Ain't worth it. I tell you how to go so clap the sunny coins out the motherfucker. Or at least put the motherfucker in a place long enough for you to, for them to no longer be a nuisance to you. Okay? Because <laughs> that shit, not okay. But if you got, unless that, but once you cut that energy out, they don't like being deprived of attention. Can't stand it. Okay? They'll generally walk away from you. If they, like I said, particularly narcissistic, they will continue to try to survive for your attention because they just can't deal with the fact that you actually ignore them. They come with large um, um, delusions of grandeur as well, okay? These are some of the ways some of these particular entities often fuck themselves up in life, okay? It's very difficult and it's very strange. I find it very strange that most of these um more on the malevolent side of the spectrum entities. <laughs> I, I find it very interesting how they are not able to um um control them themselves. They can't ground. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that's weird. Like you are below the ground. Okay, and you cannot. How are you not grounded? It is so fucking strange. Like they have the biggest delusions of grandeur, and these delusions of grandeur include delusion of grandeur of self. Okay, so they often end up fucking themselves over that way through things like self sabotage and um things of that nature. <laughs> things of that nature Woo. so you know oh oh my toe I stubbed my freaking toe I think my ancestors said shut the fuck up I think that's what happened <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have told y'all that anyway so self sabotage and um, what else do they do they tend to you they don't they over they obsess about shit that don't matter end up fucking themselves up okay so they 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 kind of put up their own stumbling blocks and then go trip over them. <laughs> you know um vampires that are more benevolent they don't tend to have these deep of an issue with these types of things Okay, they kind of understand that everything is a fair exchange, and um, now there are some, even though they understand that it's a fair exchange, we just try to attempt to take more than their fair share because they fucking can't. Okay, if they feel like they got the power and they can't, they can't. But you know, that's just like with any other creature, greed will make you do greedy things. So. There's that. But 
those that are more benevolent and want to coexist with the creatures of light, they tend to understand that everything has a balance. They know they need to extract in order to survive, but they won't take more than what you are willing to offer, and they won't take more than what they need. You know, sometimes they might take a little extra because, you know, it's it's nice to have a little extra. But, you know, it's not going to be in. It's, it's going to feel like my yacht. It's going to be my yacht. It's going to be a balance there. It's going to be reciprocity. You won't feel used and utilized. Where it's some that will use you, continue to use you, and don't give a fuck about using you. Cut the energy off. Cut the energy off. That means if this particular person comes to your home, comes to visit you at work, ask you to come see them, and the moment you feel a tug that you are being used for anything, cut that shit off. And they said, come over here and buy me some groceries, and you go to the groceries and they start doing too much, hey, bitch, that's all the money I can spare. Did it. If you give great advice and they come to you for your advice and you don't feel like you won't get anything in return, fucking stop talking. Cut the energy out. <clears throat> if you are a uh, Doing something. This is whatever it is. Just cut the energy off. Remove the energy of that thing that they are seeking. And that's how you preserve your shit. That's how you deal with that. Because if you don't, they're going to interpret you not turning the energy off as you agreeing their bullshit and they're going to continue to do it and they're going to tell you that because you did not tell them so that that is the, they didn't know and that is why now there are some cases where people really just don't know <laughs> and usually if that's the case it will work itself out the universe has a way of making sure good always has its place okay most of the time that's not the case most of the time motherfucker is just trying to use you and you is the fool that's gonna let them do it so they're gonna fucking do it all right turn the energy out be in tune with yourself that you know when you being psychic upon Because they will. And will drain you for everything you got. You, and especially if it's a greedy motherfucker. You know, greedy motherfuckers is always greedy. They do greedy shit. They're just, whoo. Oh, that feels so much better. Got my arms getting tired. And it was like, what's happening? So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Daddy, it's the right. He said he was running around me. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. <sighs> That's like confirmation for me. You know, I'm 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 kind of glad of the evolution. Now we getting off the topic of vampires and just talking about that. I'm kind of glad of the evolution and transition of so much into spirituality right now because, like, I don't get looked at as very odd or strange no more. <clears throat> nope. Like. People just kind of see me like, 
Now, it might be because I've been around here long enough and people seen me walking around. That could be a possibility as well. I know that used to be the case. Back when I didn't give a fuck about nobody talking about me, everybody and their mama talked about me. Now I'm like, where the fuck they at talking about me? And I can't find them. So I don't know if the, if the whispers have been silenced or I just can't find them. I don't know. But I know it's a lot easier walking around life right now. Um, um, <clears throat> as far as, you know, people, just something as simple as greeting you. You know what I'm saying? I used to get people that wouldn't greet me at all. They just look at me like I belonged in the padded floor or some shit. I don't know. It's crazy. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? But, you know, what can you do, right? Go on about life. Anyway, I had to switch. The staff was wearing out my other arm. And I can't believe it's only been 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes that I've been walking. I got 30 more minutes to go. We got to get that hour in. Just walking. Baby, I'm ready for a cup of coffee. I didn't want to get up this morning. I ain't going to even lie. I wanted to lay in my bed till about 7 o'clock. But I said, no. It is lazy. Get your ass up. Go and do what you need to do. And I know this. I've been sitting up here talking to y'all. Make sure ain't nobody behind me. I'm thirsty. Talking and walking ain't got no damn water. Whew. Okay. So. Now that we got our spiritual shit out the way, let's get it to some meat. My bad, y'all. Somehow, end up cutting y'all off. Oh my God, they feel like everything. I was thirsty. <sighs> I don't know why this damn thing keep cutting off. I don't. I'm not even touching it. And I need to put this back in the other hand. And yo, this track. Is tearing my motherfucking foot up. Okay, I'm out here barefoot. All right, so I don't even know what I'm saying so far. Oh, we gonna we gonna get into some meds. We gonna get into some meds, and I mean we get into some meds because the shit I'm finna talk about is. There's some shit that I perceive, but it's shit that people that I actually know have become acquainted with, um, have had dealings with, actually do. So they might feel like this is about them, but this is some shit I want to address because, um, since I've been more active on YouTube, I'm trying to learn how to utilize YouTube, how you be social on YouTube. And it's kind of difficult for me to actually see exactly how you be social on YouTube because it seems like everywhere you look it's some motherfucking shit people stay in shit motherfuckers stay fighting shut the fuck up y'all can't do shit but fight it ain't raining no more so I guess 
Then it's time to start stealing children again. Fuck. But everywhere I look, it's some shit. Always some fucking shit. Like, why y'all can't leave folks alone? Like, the, 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 the shit that kills me is the stealing things. Okay? This one's stealing content. This one stole my this, my that. Unless they stole your, like, your actual shit. Like, I really don't care to hear this shit, motherfuckers. Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Nothing. There is nothing new under the fucking sun. Like, if, how else can I say this? The most beautiful fucking poetry came from the minds of humans in ancient fucking times, okay? Ain't shit new under the sun. Every time you think, go research some of this shit you come up with. And and type it into the motherfucking internet. I bet you find it. Because ain't shit new under the sun. Like, people are going to cross over into different realms and shit. And they're going to tap into some of these ideas you thought was yours and was original. And they probably are original. Y'all probably just on the same vibe and frequency and just happened to be having the same experience over there and came up with a mutual idea. But because you don't know that person in this reality, your ass is screaming about somebody done stole your shit. Like, fucking stop it. I see that shit all across YouTube. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's just a reason to create B. What is another thing? Can people not converse anymore? People don't know how to have a, a conversation. It seems like motherfuckers can't talk unless they arguing. Motherfuckers can't talk unless they got beef. Motherfuckers can't talk unless they got to be right. Whatever happened to a mutual exchange in ideas? Whatever happened to that? I'm just going to share my idea with you. That way, you know, you can understand that there is another perspective to this thing. In in um 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 in the world, you know, what happened to that? What happened to being able to intellectually into into um entertain somebody's thoughts? What happened to that? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I am really shocked and appalled at the shit that's going on in the spiritual community. And you you know what? I can't even blame. The newbies coming in because this ain't no newbie shit. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is old folks shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is uh and I'm not I don't mean the elderly. I mean like people that's been in here a while. We just accepted certain fuckeries as oh those are those fuckeries and these fuckeries is teaching this bullshit to these new populations of people and it sounds good because it's easy and it don't require no work. And you ain't got to respect shit. You don't have to have no discipline. So that shit sound good to them. Oh, this people y'all this shit is nice. These motherfuckers is leading you to hell. Baby. I cannot. What time is it? Oh, I still got seven minutes. I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Like, me... Going outside decide to walk. A motherfucker swear up and down. I'm copying them. Bro, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? You mean to tell me when God created humans <laughs> and said that they will walk on two feet. That once he created you, everybody after you copied walking. See, here's the issue. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. People have decided they they are so unique and so um great and so different from everybody else <laughs> that when they see something that look similar to what they doing, they become jaded. 
Yo, stop being a fucking fruit loop. You are not. <laughs> There is nothing new under the sun. This motherfucker needs billions of years uh, old. Okay? People are going to have ideologies. People are going to do the same thing. And as far as me goes, the problem is not that somebody's doing everything that you do. Ma'am, the problem is my life hasn't been on film for you to see what I do. Because if you had, you'd have known that this shit you're doing is not unique. It's like, what the fuck? I look like getting upset because somebody goes to the track and walk. The fuck? What is wrong with me if I'm doing that? That's crazy. You mean to tell me because I'm out here walking and talking, they can't go out and walk too? What the fuck? Now, if they're going to walk and talk, and then they're copying everything that I'm saying, that's different. But, the fuck? Since when I got a monopoly on health? What the fuck is wrong with you? Smoking that shit. I tell you, people is crazy. But I have also come to understand that what happens is, people look at different content and they get inspired by this content to create their own messages. And I don't see anything wrong with that. And I don't understand why folks be on YouTube fighting about this shit. This is fucking crazy. I don't want to understand it either. Don't bring that shit over here. <laughs> don't bring that shit over here. That shit is crazy. We supposed to be um, workers and, and putting more light and healing into the universe and we out here acting like real niggas in these spiritual streets what the fuck is going on goodness y'all see the sun getting ready to rise the sun is getting ready to rise baby I'm gonna put y'all on pause in a minute cause I need some more water hopefully it won't hang y'all up Again. I wonder how often he comes out here because I was out here the other day and he was here. I like to walk on this track. This feels good. It looks like I'm going to have to stay coming up here this time of morning too. I see I'm starting to get bags. Oh, it is 6 30. Well, he already at attention. Oh, maybe he's supposed to be at attention. Sun's getting ready to rise. All these people out here running, We're just walking. So I guess that's my time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get. I think I did pretty good for about an hour. Huh? We gonna see, we gonna see. I gotta mash some videos together because it stopped a couple of times. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all watching me, bro, so don't don't even give me the shit. Y'all say dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. See y'all next video. And introduce you. Hello. To yourself. Divine.